Can social media make us sick? Not only can social media make us sick, I think it is making us sick. I, I don't know what it is. Jeg lige vil vise jer noget, jeg har købt. I have always been interested in unusual phenomena ever since I was like four and able to pick up a pair of binoculars and look for UFOs. And my brother and I, we were out there searching for Bigfoot, looking for UFOs, investigating haunted houses, and we wrote a book together. Bigfoot Encounters in New York and New England. Documented evidence stranger than fiction. Even into my early university years, I was still a believer. But then something struck me. It's called science and rules of evidence. And then I began to realize it's just not there. And people often deceive themselves. And I had deceived myself. I've spent the last 35 years studying outbreaks of mass psychogenic illness. That's when people in a group start feeling sick at the same time, even though there's no physical or environmental reason for them to be sick. Think of it as the placebo effect in reverse. If you believe that something is making you ill, you can become ill. I think we've all experienced it at one time or another. What if I told you the person next to you has head lice? If you just sit there and pay close attention to your body, within 30 seconds, you'll probably feel an itch. And before you know it, it's the itchy and scratchy show. Is it all in your head? No, the symptoms are as real as any condition out there. People are suffering. Oh, frick. I cannot begin to explain how much it hurt. <laughs> I was with my older sibling and we were walking in the mall and my head just suddenly kind of just twitched into my shoulder, which I didn't really think anything of it, but then it started to do it again and again and then <laughs> my older sibling noticed and was kind of like, what's, what's going on there? And I was like, I don't know. When I'm looking for a new outbreak, I just go to Google and type in mystery illness and boom, you get thousands of cases. Something is going on with social media involving vulnerable young people. And there is the potential for global chaos. I've collected over 3,500 cases of mass psychogenic illness dating back to 1566. One of the most famous outbreaks was the case of the meowing nuns. Back in medieval Europe, cats were considered familiars with the devil. And in these secluded monasteries where the nuns lived, the tension and stress built up and up, and they started to twitch, shake, and even meow like cats. It appeared like they were possessed by the devil himself. But here's the thing. These rare phenomena are starting to reappear. In the past, these things happened in isolated communities, but they didn't have to deal with one thing we have today, and that's social media. So I developed a tick disorder during the pandemic. And I can't stop ticking, and it's just like, oh. We don't know how we get ticks. Not sure why they started, but they did. I thought I must have been faking them. <laughs> Help me. I made this account to spread awareness about ticks because it's something that doesn't get talked about a lot. <laughs> it was really scary when they started. 
and so there was a lot of denial behind it as well. After being to a neurologist, we kind of got told that it looked like I had a form of Tourette's, but I've never really felt like I've been diagnosed with anything in particular, um, just because it's never been really straightforward, like, this is what you have. I've been told it looks like you've got tics. It's very important that our community understand what a psychogenic disorder is. In a way, it's your mind manifesting its feelings, its, its own stress in a physical form. My tics started after we, after New Zealand had come out of its first lockdown. So being back at school and everything was very stressful for me. The outbreak of the TikTok ticks happened during the pandemic. Coincidence? I don't think so because there was so much free floating anxiety around at the time. Over the past three years, I've seen a fourfold increase in the number of children who present with tick like disorder. They're somewhat different from traditional tick disorder children. It tends to be an older individual, often in adolescence. There is a female predominance. The movement is much more complex and it tends to interrupt all activities. In a way, it really doesn't make a difference whether it's real Tourette's or psychogenic illness, because the consequence and the stigma are both the same. But in order to treat it, we need to figure this difference out. Um, when my tics, tic, tics bad, when my anxiety is really bad, when I'm stressed out, when I'm filming myself, and when I'm around other people who tick, and when I see like other people's videos of ticks or Tourette's, you know. With tick-like disorder, if you're, if you're predisposed to picking up on other people's habits, then you will pick up their tick. This is not an infectious disease, but psychologically, it is somewhat infectious. So, I have ticks, so I'm gonna see how long I can hold an egg. When you look in the rise of the tick-like disorders over the past two and a half years, there's been no disease or illness that correlates well with this. The biggest correlate seems to be access with social media. There are so many people developing ticks nowadays. Sweet, 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 sweet. I've seen people do that. The only reason I know anything about this like rise in ticks is because I noticed that a lot of like me and a lot of my friends were getting them. TikTok is a double-edged sword. It can raise awareness of these illnesses, but it can also trigger them at the same time. These young people are able to go into their rooms, close their doors, and enter the world of social media. Why would anyone want to fake having this shitty life? The worst thing about sharing my videos would probably just be the people who would tell me that I'm faking it. You just have to kind of understand that this is what's happening, um, which a lot of people just couldn't, you know, get into that mindset of this could be a thing that is happening to this girl. I'm literally done with this frickin' app. I think social media should come with a health warning because now in our information age, technology is spreading these outbreaks faster and further than ever before. Mass psychogenic illness is based on a belief. We all have beliefs, therefore we are all potential victims. My favorite saying is, speak of the devil and he shall appear, because believing is seeing.